How's it going guys? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to talk about something we've made a video on in the past, but I want to rehash, recover, go over once again, because I absolutely love this gun. Let's get the video started. So the gun we're talking about today is the Ruger American bolt action rifle chambered in 22 LR. So it's just a little tiny 22 LR bullets. And that is part of the fun. This gun is absolutely my favorite gun when it comes to just having fun at the range, shooting around with friends, shooting at random little targets here and there. Uh, it's just, it's just a great time. Whatever this comes out of the bag, it's going to be a good time. So we're going to talk about why that is, why I love this gun so much, and why I think you should grab one as well. So to start off with the first amazing thing about this gun is that it shoots these little tiny 22 LR bullets. They are super small and even better, they're super cheap. They're very inexpensive to shoot. You can grab a box of these, for, of like, like a box of 500 for 20 bucks, maybe 30 bucks so cheap and inexpensive to shoot which makes it affordable for pretty much everyone out there you can send rounds down range all day with this gun and not have to worry about the expense and cost adding up and breaking the bank trying to afford the ammo to continue to do that week after week and month after month and now to this gun right here specifically it is a ruger american so it's part of ruger's american line of rifles that are generally very affordable bolt action rifles offered by Ruger. And don't get that affordable mistaken for low quality or something that's gonna fall apart. These are very durable, well-made guns. They're gonna last a very long time. And they're really competitive with rifles that are much, much more expensive. And now for a closer look at this rifle, as I mentioned, it's bolt action. So you have this bolt here, easily removed to clean and replace if need be. Um, pops right back in there. And so if you're new to bolt action rifles, it's a very, very simple concept. You put your magazine in the bottom there and pull this bolt up and back, and that exposes the live round. The live round will be then pushed into the chamber as you slide the bolt forward, lock that down, and then you have now put a round into the chamber. From there, you have a safety right here on the rear of the gun. You switch it to F for fire or S for safety and obviously pull the trigger that will fire this gun every single time though on like a semi-automatic rifle every single time after firing there is not another live round in the chamber so you must pull the bolt up slide it back that sends the previous round out slide it back forward pushing a new round into the chamber and lock that back down and you're good to go again now as far as the magazines it does come with a small 10 round magazine made by ruger i have since ditched that i do not like the way it loads and unloads from the gun. So I have purchased two other magazines. I have a 15 round BX15 magazine by Ruger. And I also have a 25 round BX25 magazine by Ruger. And these are going to be their little banana mags. So when you have them sitting in there, it has that little banana mag look just like AKs have. And to remove them, there's a little lever right here. Push that forward, pull out. They're very easy to insert and remove. And that's why I like these magazines so much more than the stock ones. And then lastly, as far as optics, this gun does come with two iron sights from the factory. You have a flip up sight here in the rear, easily flips down to get out of the way. And then in the front, you have a fiber optic sight and they're not bad at all. You can get very, very accurate and you can get shots out to at least 50 yards, maybe hundred yards reasonably accurately with those iron sights. But I wanted something a little more, a little easier to use and a little more accurate out the distance. So I have thrown on here a Vortex Crossfire. This is the two to seven by 32 scope that they sell. It's a pretty cheap scope, but for a 22 LR rifle, you don't need anything super fancy. And this gets the job done perfectly for this rifle. And that concludes the setup that we have here on this rifle. It is so fun to shoot. We're gonna do a little bit of that here in just a second. Um, but anytime I have someone with me that has never shot a gun before, they're very new to it. Um, this is the gun I start them out on because it has no kick. You literally can just stand there and as you're shooting, the crosshairs don't move a single bit off of the target. It just stays still. The 22 round pretty much has little to no recoil to begin with, but this rifle absorbs any and all of that recoil like a champ. So 
There's no recoil, not to mention the 22 round is also very, very quiet. So yeah, I would have this new shooter throw on some ear protection because it's loud for someone who's never really shot guns before. But if you're used to shooting 556, 308, et cetera, maybe even nine millimeter, it's way quieter than all of those. And it's a really pleasant shooting experience because of those two things, because it's quiet and because there's no recoil. So it's a great option to start new shooters out. And my plan is down the road when I have a kid one day, hopefully I get a son, and I'm gonna have him learn to shoot on this rifle right here. I'm sure it will last that long, and this will be his very first rifle that he has. All right, now just to demonstrate the accuracy of this, I wanna do a quick demonstration. I got a target down there at 25 yards. We're gonna be shooting towards that. So real quick, we're shooting for that target right there and it is about 25 yards. And we're gonna go for the bottom left circle on this target here. All right, that should be enough to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So this down here, this bottom left, these are our grouping for what I was shooting at just now. So my scope is slightly off, but looking at this grouping, we got about a two inch grouping here, most likely from the farthest shots. And that is two inches at 25 yards, handheld. We're not on a bipod or anything like that. That is very, very good accuracy, a relatively tight grouping, considering we are handheld at 25 yards. Okay, now one more thing I want to do. I want to do this again with a little bit of a rest. We're not using a bipod still. We are using the long banana mag. We're going to rest it on that and see from a rested position how accurate we can get. We're going to go for the top right target on the top right circle on this target down there. We'll do this one more time just to see what kind of accuracy we can get now. One more. All right. Okay, once again, we are going for the top right here. And as expected, we had a very, very tight grouping. We are a little bit tighter than from handheld. This is our shots now from the rested position. Not as stable as a bipod, but a little bit more stable resting on that magazine. And once again, my scope is right now about an inch or two high, but that's okay. We can adjust that very easily. All right, and that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and got something out of it. This rifle here is a hell of a buy. I forgot to mention the most important thing. It's only a couple hundred dollars. When I bought this, it was on sale. Got it for $200. What gun out there for $200 is gonna be as fun, as reliable as something like this. It is amazing especially for the price and i've been absolutely loving it would highly recommend it to those of you out there that are looking for something something fun something different if you don't have something like this already go out and grab yourself one you will not regret it it shoots inexpensive ammo it's a very inexpensive gun you can't go wrong with that and it's so much fun it will last you for years and years and years and maybe like me you can teach your kid on this rifle one day as well so with that being said hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts do you have this rifle already and do you love it as much as i do or is there something else out there that you think is the most fun rifle and it's in competition with this for something that would be the most fun on the range let me know your thoughts down below if you want to see more videos like this going forward subscribe to the channel and once again leave a like on this video it helps the channel out a bunch i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day